This video is going to show you how to use your little CNC machine to cut shapes out of plexiglass, such as this little cat cut out of acrylic, or this butterfly, which we're going to use as an example. And then if you keep watching the video, you'll see how we also cut, using a regular Cricut Expression, some vinyl to match it perfectly. Okay, to get started, we need a picture to go from. Here I have a picture of a butterfly. Uh, I need it rotated, do that. And there's several different cam software you can use to run, to uh, design it for your machine. A lot of people like to use Easel because it's really uh, easy to use for the first time. Although it is all online, I like something that's already on my computer and I will always have. So I decided to do it with ArtCam. You can also use MakerCam. It's pretty easy and they do have a version that is made to stay on your computer. You don't have to use it online. So, To get started, it's easiest just to have a black and white JPEG image. I'm sure some other formats work. I just drag it in. The first thing it's going to want to do is ask you the size. Uh, most of us here in the USA use inches. Uh, I want mine to cut at a six inch height. That's important to me because I'm going to match up a Cricut decal that I cut to it and it, it's going to be six inches high. So we'll do six inches and whatever the width comes out to it doesn't matter as long as we keep it proportional. I'm going to change it back to millimeters though because my machine does like using less decimal places. And this is for where you want your head to, uh, your CNC cutting head to start. If you choose the upper left corner, that means it's going to cut the image to the right and below it. Or you could start in the center and then you can measure out all different directions if you wanted to cut in the center of the piece. For the piece I'm using, I'm going to start with the head cutting in the upper left corner because I have a nice square piece a plexiglass. Okay. Now the next step is we want to change this to black and white. It looks black and white, but you can see along the bottom here there's several shades of black or gray. So we'll go up here to uh, bitmap to vector. We will reduce the colors all the way down to two, just black and white. And, we, and then we will create vectors based on that. And you'll see this uh, pink or purple line, that's where it's going to cut. Sometimes it'll detect the outer edge, the box of your picture too. You don't want that. You can just click out here and then just click on the one vector that we want, which is the butterfly. So now that we've selected that, we want to tell the machine to cut it. So we're going to go up to Toolpath. And we're going to do 2D because we're just cutting it out. We're not carving. In a profile, it means it's going to go along the edge as compared to area where it would cut out the whole inside. In this case, we want it to cut around the outside of it. And we'll go down here. Our start, de our start depth is going to be zero. We're going to put the tip of our bit in the CN machine right up against the plexiglass. And from there, we want it to cut down uh, well, it depends on the thickness of your plexiglass. Mine is a little over two millimeters, but on the safe side, I'm going to put a full two and a half millimeters so it goes all the way through. Because even just if it lifts off or, if, you know, there's any indiscrepancies, it won't cut all the way through. We want it all the way through. Now we got to select our bit. There's already a bunch in here selected. You can create your own by hitting Add Tool, which is what I did and I made this acrylic two millimeter bit, which I actually have an acrylic two millimeter bit, but you'll have to edit your own how much step over, which won't be needed for this because we're just cutting around, we're not carving out. Step down is how deep it will go in one pass. I want it to cut all the way through the plexiglass in one pass, so I selected three millimeters. My spindle speed on my 3018 CNC is 10,000 RPM, which yours probably should be too. For the feed rate, I'm actually going to bump this up because although I have a small bit, I don't want to go too fast and break it. 
with the acrylic, if you don't go fast enough, it's going to melt it and you're going to have all these little things hanging off. So let's bump this up. I'm going to bump it up to 8 millimeters per second and try that. The plunge rate is how fast it drops. This is it's going to drill in and then start moving. I just have that at 2 millimeters per second. It doesn't matter as long as it's not too fast. And of course you want the diameter to match. Like I said, mine is a 2 millimeter. Here you will have a match. Of course, the bigger bit you have, the less detail you can get. You can't get into the tight corners. So let's select this 2 millimeter bit. Let's come down here. By default, if you're using Art Cam, it does go to climb. I changed mine to conventional. It's the, the direction that the, the bit is spinning and compared to the, uh, the cutting. And you'll get a, a, it should do a better, cleaner cut doing conventional from what I've read. We're going to want some bridges because uh, when this cuts along the edge, the, uh, the butterfly might start to move as the cut is almost all the way done and it can mess up your cut. So we'll place what we call these little bridges. I like to make mine about five millimeters long. And because we're cutting through three millimeters of plastic, actually about two, but I'm going a little extra deep, I'm going to make mine 1.5 millimeters deep. And 2D bridges are just, it rises up that high, goes over and goes down. A 3D bridge is it kind of does it gradually. So I'm going to use that. You could add them manually, or uh, have it add, have the computer add them. Or here I hit edit bridges. And uh, you can just make sure all your settings match what you did over here. And just click where you want them. I'm going to put one there, one here, one here, and one here. So as it goes around, it'll come up, and that should be enough to steady it. You could use more. It's just more to cut through. But I like to place them in a place where it's easy to get a knife and cut them off, too. So now that those are done, we'll come down here, and we'll calculate our tool path. It's all done. We got the line. We got our bridges. Once we calculate it, we can go up to tool path. Here, if you want to see, here's a tool path summary. It'll, if you put in your, uh, well, that's rapid feed rate. If you, uh, it'll say your, uh, about how long it's going to take, two minutes, 10 seconds. It, that's just a, kind of gives you an idea. It won't be perfectly accurate. But let's go back up to tool path. Let's save this tool path as. Over here, it just has the same last name from last time I did it. Let's call this our, uh, Butterfly, I'm going to put it, it's at 6 inch, uh, and I changed the feed rate, so I'm going to put in, for my reference, new feed rate. And uh, if you're using the little 3018 router that's like a Yora or a Sane Smart, all those, the eBay brand ones, use this profile. It's called the Mach 3 under slash 4 dash arcs millimeter dot tap. Now, the software we're going to cut with won't recognize tap, but all we have to do is change the extension to .nc when we're done. So that's no big deal, but it will do the for this type of machine. So we'll save that. Now it's on our desktop up in the upper left corner. Let's get rid of this. And if we double click on it, we're going to need to open it. Uh, sorry, we can't open a, a tap yet. Let me, we need to rename it first. Notice the extension is TAP. We need to change that to NC. Let's see. Change it, yes. Now you'll notice that it looks like a notepad icon. That's because I already opened mine with notepad once. You can, uh, when you go to open it, your Windows won't have any program to open this type of, type of file probably. So just choose notepad as the program. And then you'll see all your, it'll show all this. This is your speed and stuff like that. If you want to make sure that you did it right, because the first few times you could mess it up, there is, you can go online here to, uh, let me find, to this ncviewer.com. 
it's uh, it runs a simulation on your file we can just drag it in here and you'll see you'll see that code on the left and on the right I'll shrink it with my mouse wheel we can see the I can use my right button on the mouse kind of rotate around look at it we can run it and make sure here's where our tip is gonna start it should lift up come over here drop down go around and cut it you can notice right here there's the bridges one of the bridges they kind of they're hard to see but uh, that's where it'll raise up so let's do a simulation okay that's how our machine should cut it so now the next step is we will take this file and we will send it to our machine my machine is actually connected to a laptop out in the garage so I will just take this file and I'm going to put it on my laptop and I will show you how to go from there okay I'm now out in the garage on my laptop that is connected to my CNC machine at this point you could use the file and put it in an offline controller if you have it to cut the cut your acrylic with the offline controller or I like to use a laptop because it provides some extra options especially if you use your CNC machine for lasering too so the software I use is called candle it's free it usually comes with the with the CNC machine or a link to download it since I already have it installed this is it uh, my file is recognized you'll see the icon of candle uh, with the file that we made inside so I'm just gonna double click on the file and it's going to automatically open up candle you can see here's that uh, cutting file we made for our machine now remember we made it to start in the upper left hand corner so we'll have to place our plexiglass on the CNC machine in a specific way so that the, it'll start from the upper left corner and uh, and also make the machine start there too we'll have to set it there so now we go to setting up our CNC machine to cut this file Okay, so here's my CNC machine with a piece of plexiglass that I'm going to cut. Now remember, we're going to start in the upper left corner. So we'll have to place this on the machine with the upper left corner up there and make sure that our bit will be in the upper left corner when we start. We just got to make sure that it will clear all the clamps that hold this down to the bed. Now you probably notice that my, my machine looks a little different because it's been extended. I bought an extension kit cheap off eBay and then I printed my own bed extensions and even made a little clamp for doing wooden nickels. So let's get started with clamping this uh, piece of plexiglass down. Now notice if we put it, the plexiglass directly on the bed, we want to cut all the way through. This bit, if it goes all the way through, we're going to end up with uh, a little cut in your bed like, uh, here, zoom in on it, like that. That was actually an accident from a, a broken spindle holder, but that's what would happen to your bed. So we need something, a scrap piece of wood, or anything that we can put underneath it. What works out really good is uh, you can pick up this hardboard, sheets of it, it's pretty thin from the hardware store, it's just like pegboard with no holes. That can, uh, that can sit flat on your bed. this one. And we'll put our plexiglass clamped on top of it. Now we can cut all the way through as long as we don't go too deep. And uh, it'll just barely get into this and cut all the way through the plexiglass. Okay, now my piece of plexiglass is securely clamped down to the bed of my machine. I'm going to have to move my head over to somewhere around here, the, the upper left corner where my design is going to start. We'll have to keep in mind that, uh, and it depends on your design too, that as it comes over that, we, it, that the head's not going to catch any of these clamps and as it comes down. And if your piece is in crooked too, and your, your clamp might be a little moved over. So let's go over here back to our software. You can see these controls were We'll, uh, I'll have to turn my machine on. We'll move your, we'll move the bed around. I like to start with a, uh, to get close, moving 10 millimeters at a time. 
So as we hit these buttons, it's going to move your, your spindle head, or the I should say the bed, if you're moving this way. Move it over to the right. Just to be safe, I'm going to move it in a little bit more. Now as we drop it down, that's where we got to be careful. We want it to just touch the top of the plexiglass. The easiest way to do that is take a piece of paper. In this case, I like to use sandpaper. I still got the protective coating on here which when we go to cut we're not going to want on because as the blade or as the bit spins it's going to get wrapped around and melt and it's going to be a mess. So let's peel, peel this back. I'm going to cut somewhere down this far and somewhere over here. And we should be safe starting there. If you're not sure whether it's going to clear everything you can use a software center where your bit's going to be and then move it around it'll show how far you are over on your design and you'll see if you're going to get into anything. So I'm gonna, I want to start cutting about here. Now we want this tip to just touch the the plexiglass for our starting point because then it will lift up, move over and go down from there. So to do that we'll go down a millimeter at a time until we're getting pretty close. Zoom in for you. Okay, now it's just about to touch. I can't tell how close it is, so I'm going to take my little piece of paper here, put it underneath. Now I'm going to change my setting from one millimeter to a tenth of a millimeter. And what I'll do is I'll, I can freely wiggle this. My arm's not in the way here. Freely wiggle this, going down a tenth of a millimeter at a time. Okay, it's, it's caught on it now a little bit. Then go up one just to pull it out. Go back. Okay, now that's where we want our bit to start from. Just touching and plenty of room. So now that we've found out where we want, lined up our bit for a setting point, we need to tell our machine, this is our X and Y, zero them out. This is our up and down. We'll zero that out. So now we're ready to hit the send command, which is right down there, and we will start cutting. I'd, uh, I'd recommend wearing safety glasses. I wear glasses myself because these little shards really go flying when you do this. So, uh, Okay, there it is, a butterfly cut out of acrylic. Okay, you can see here and there around the edge I made little bridges. It's hard to see because it's clear acrylic. So that it actually stayed in place and wouldn't move while cutting. There was four of them throughout the whole thing. Okay, after cutting off the uh, the bridges and taking off all the protective paper and rinsing it off with some water, there's the there's the finished finished butterfly. Okay, to start. 
cutting out our vinyl to match our acrylic cut butterfly from the CNC, we'll start with the same exact picture, this black butterfly. Now we, we will use a uh, photo editing software to get the cutout we want. In this case, this is what we came up with. Now to cut that on a Cricut Expression, we need, because the Cricut Expression was only made to use cartridges, we need special software. In this case, Sure Cuts a Lot too will allow our Cricut Expression to cut out any shape we want from our PC. So we open up, this is our Sure Cuts a Lot 2 software. We need to go to File and Trace Image. There's also, you can go up here to that. Here we will hit Browse. We go to our design that we made, open it. We can hit Preview to see how it will cut. This is what it looks like, that's what we want. It traced all the black lines. Now we know before that we cut the butterfly to exactly six inches tall, and we need to do the same here. So we come over here to our dimensions, the properties. We need to keep proportions. We don't care what the width is, it just has to match when we make the height six inches tall. So we make our height six, hit enter, and you can see it proportionally made our wing six inches tall. You can verify this by by dragging it up and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six inches. So we bring it into the cutting area and the next cut or next step would just be sending it to the Cricut machine by hitting cut with Cricut. You can see it has expression as a model and we would hit OK. Okay, here's the cricket cutting, the vinyl that's going to go on the wing of the acrylic piece. <laughs>